Hi guys, so this video is not about motorbikes, it's about boats and the boat in particular is a 40 foot catamaran that Sal and our dear friends Graham and Kate sailed around the Whit Sundays for seven glorious days. Come along on the journey with us and I'm sure you'll enjoy it as much as we did. So this map gives you a rough idea of where we went and as you can see the blue lines are with the outward journey and the red the journey back. We didn't really even scratch the surface, but clearly a lot of planning went into developing the route. Good evening, two weeks to go. It's October 2018 and we're about to start our sailing journey around the Whit Sundays. And we're really looking forward to it. It's such a great holiday location. Will they be drinking? Uh, maybe. Uh, we're practicing. Well, Kate's gonna have to get her act together because clearly <laughs> we have a pace problem. So, yeah. Plus, we're going to do some planning. Oh, some yeah. planning. <laughs> so, the day had finally arrived, and before we knew it, we had arrived at the Wood Sunday's Escape office to pick up our new boat. Hi, here to check in for Montessa Rose. And there she was in all her splendor. But first, we had to get provisions. And if you look very carefully, you can probably see some food in those packets. Then it was the gear. Good morning, how can we help you? The all important coffee. Yeah. What's this for, Graham? Yeah. Smiling delivery. There's the smile. A bit of paperwork. And we were off. Heading off to Stonehaven Beach was to be our stop for the night. With a happy skipper and crew, we had beautiful wind in our sails. And we were heading off on a fantastic adventure for seven beautiful long days with scenery like this. The occasional turtle that popped his head up just to see what we were doing. And long afternoons settling down in preparation for the evening. How's the day been today, Sal? Absolutely magnificent. Hey, the company, the food, food. The champagne. The champagne. The next day broke beautiful and clear and with the girls doing the skids, which was telling base what we were doing for the day, we soon found ourselves in our little tender heading off to Luncheon Bay, which was the most beautiful of beaches. Hey girls. It's beautiful. It's lovely. So I'm filming. I'm, I, I am, as we speak. <laughs> it's like an aquarium, isn't it? It's amazing. It's amazing. Wow. Then, after a bit of breakfast, it was time for some fun. So the next day, again, with beautiful conditions, we were heading for our destination of Turtle Bay. And with a very relaxed skipper at the helm, he wasn't intimidated by anyone, and deciding to park us next to the most expensive yacht in the inlet, we soon decided to leave before we developed boat envy. What you doing, Graham? I'm playing with my anchor, Mike. You're playing with your anchor? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of anchorage going on. And then, of course, there's always got to be an element of acting. Not to mention frightening beasties from the deep. Well. 
so with everything shipshape on the boat, Skip had us sailing with the deck candy installed obviously, following the boats to a place called Chalky's Beach which is on the other side of Whitehaven Beach. The beach was absolutely gorgeous with beautiful white sands and emerald sea and the objective was just to get in it as soon as we could. There were small fish, there were medium fish and obviously the big fish. Clearly there's no age restriction to having fun with a GoPro. After our swim, we were back on the tender heading towards another beach which we just thought was heaven. What do you think, Sal? Paradise. I think it's exquisite. Awesome. Marvellous. Hello, little mermaid. Michael. Yeah. I cannot believe most of the GoPro. How lucky we are. You got it in one. I need to shave my boots. Well, now you captured it on video. <laughs> And then all too soon, we were back on our beautiful boat, passing Hamilton Island and Qualia, with the girls well set up for the journey ahead. <laughs> He's not very good at it, is he? Uh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we chose Golne Inlet was, aside from its beauty, it was going to protect us from the changing weather that lay ahead. Now, if any of you are thinking that this trip was just about lounging about, swimming, eating, drinking, and sitting on the deck. Skip had us working pretty hard, pulling the sheets, doing the ropes, making sure that everything was shipshape, and giving us instructions. But all these little tasks of working on the boat and getting comfortable with how she sailed gave us a lot of confidence for what lay ahead the next day. Seven the best time. Oh, the best time. Last rough and it's overcast and some different exercise. Fantastic, isn't it? This this uh over rough the water. Nice and rough, eh? Hey? And then safely back in the marina, we all scrubbed up to go out for dinner to celebrate our fantastic holiday together. Well, we've just got back and we're in harbour after seven days of fantastic sailing in the Whit Sundays. I strongly recommend if you like sailing, like being out in the open, like being on the sea, certainly consider coming up here for a holiday. It won't disappoint. Every single day we thought it can't get better and it really did and even today whilst we were coming back to the harbour we thought it was going to be a bit of an iffy day it turned out to be the best day for sailing and one of the best sailing days we've had. However for an unbiased opinion let me ask the rest of the crew what they thought. What did you guys think it was? It was amazing! <laughs> 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 <laughs>